Laddie with Mainstream Media. Now we're we're both gonna be we're both gonna be filming here. We'll have two little cameras going. But just look at Laddie and he's gonna ask you some questions. Oh, okay. He's quite uh, curious about uh, about NASCAR, so he's got a lot of questions he wants to ask. Oh, uh, okay. Drive. Okay, well, one second here, Laddie. Let me get, let me get, uh, let me get organized here. There we go. Okay, anytime you're ready, Laddie. So, what do you drive? I drive the uh, Aflac show car rig for Carl Edwards. Oh, what kind of car do you drive when you're not racing? Um, I drive a Mercury Mariner. <laughs> Mercury is a yeah, SUV. American car. It's a Ford product. Laddie right. really cares if people drive American cars or oh, yeah. foreign cars. Oh, it's American. Oh, 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 uh, do you ever been in any dangerous situations? Yeah, while I, did racing? The, uh, I did the movie uh, Herbie Full and Loaded, and uh, the Volkswagen hit the back end of the race car and it put me in the wall. Uh, well, well, good time. Good time? Yeah. You mean an outsider racing? Yeah. Outside? Hunt. Hunting's a good time. Ah. Do you like any sports? Uh, motocross. That's about it. That's the motorcycles, right? Right. Are you married? Oh yeah, I'm married. 38 years. Ten, ten grandkids. How does your wife feel about your racing? Um, she just wants the check to come home. Is it is racing fun? Yeah. You know, to be honest with you, after 33 years, I'm burned out. I am burned out. Why? Any reason? It's just it's just been a long 33 years on the go all the time. I've only been doing show cars since 2000. Before that, I worked at the track, worked in the shop, but now I'm just I'm just burned out. Nice to hang out with the people and show this off, huh? Oh yeah, I like I like being around people and showing the car off. I I, I like people. You like people too? Oh boy. Uh, oh yeah. People are interesting. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Even in your, neighbor, in your neighborhood, you go to Fred Meyer, you talk to everybody there. Yeah, I If you're waiting yep. for the bus, talk to everybody at the bus stop. Oh, that's cool. So well, everybody, everybody on your street knows you then. Oh, oh. yeah. You're, you're not afraid to talk to anybody. <laughs> Doesn't matter what they look like or anything. Well, that's good. That's the way it should be. Uh, what about what was your most uh, satisfying or most memorable yeah. moment in racing? The most memorable? Yeah. I guess when Dale got killed yeah. is the most memorable. Oh, uh, I think that's the day NASCAR died. I, I, I'm not here. So were you you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, I was there. I'm not here. You remember Dale Earnhardt? You remember Dale? Yeah, he was there. He used to live in Portland? Yeah. Behind the shop. Behind the, one of the shops in your area? There's a lot of there's a lot of car places over by your area. Oh, there is? Yeah, a lot of like mechanic shops and oh. car sales. Yeah, I know he liked to come up here and go fishing. Yeah. And elk hunt. Yeah, go that hill. After he went, things kind of went downhill. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's really racing anymore. It's just follow the leader. Yeah.
all politics. It's yeah. all politics? That's all politics. Yeah, he's right. It's all politics. Yeah, save it one. Save it one. Do you have one story of, of politics? Is that what you're asking? One example, maybe? Um... Not really. No? Uh, <laughs> I, I try to stay out of that part of it. <laughs> Not me. I mean, I mean, you know, it's just... When you got a driver that doesn't have a ride, that should have a ride, and because he don't have the parents that have the money to put him in a car, but he's better than a guy that's got money that's in a car, it just don't make no sense to me. I agree. You agree with that no. point of view? I mean, look, you know, I, I got a friend, Matt Benedetto. He raced for Joe Gibbs yeah. in Nationwide Series in the uh, Pizza Ranch car. Yeah. Well, um, what is his name? I know his name. <laughs> My mind went blank. Kyle Busch wanted that sponsor, so they, they kicked Matt out and put Kyle in there, so Matt doesn't have a ride no more. And that's one that's one instance. The other thing is, is just like when Logano came in and took Tony Stewart's place, Daddy has money. He owns half a waste management. It's all about the money. And Matt, I, I feel like Matt Benedetto is a lot better than he is. But that's my opinion. Nice hat. Oh, thanks. It's about eight years old. <laughs> you need a hat like that? We'll have to get the half like guy to get you one. How about the shirt? Uh, <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> we'll have to have to ask that guy about that one. I'll let him spend his money. <laughs> we keep, his, keep this interview going if he asks for the pants. <laughs> Why the shirt? Yeah. Why all the patches and yeah. everything? Everybody on here sponsors Carl. So they, they donate money to him to, yeah. to help him run his car? Yeah. So they have a big argument about where the sponsorship's placed on the shirt? Like a big big thing? Or they all just uh, no, dart at it and see what happens? Huh? Yeah, I, I guess that's how you would put it. Like, you know, he runs a subway car sometimes, a cheese it car. But when it's a primary, secondary car like Aflac now, they, they, they have their own uniforms. And then Fastenal's a primary sponsor. And then you got UPS, and then you got Best Buy. Oh, they're, they're all giving money. And no more bye bye, no bye bye. Best Buy's going bye bye. I um, wouldn't doubt. They're it. not doing too well, I guess. Yeah, I guess they're not. That's because they got into race cup since Best Buy. It's more of a. There's a bigger story to that, huh? Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, 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 oh. We'll stay out of that one. <laughs> well, I, I'll be here as long as Aflac's in it. As soon as Aflac gets out, I'm gone. Are you an Aflac customer? Oh, yeah. Okay. I believe in them highly. I mean, I go all over the United States. I hear all sorts of stories. Let, let him tell some Aflac stories here, yeah. uh, laddie. Some Aflac stories? Well, let me, let me give you a little bit of background first before I answer that. So, um, uh, Aflac is Laddie's sponsor. So, Laddie interviews uh, sports people and music people and uh, political people. And every time uh, Laddie does an interview, Aflac's going to be featured in his video. So, uh, they've, they've graciously sponsored Laddie and mainstream media. And I was telling Laddie about what they do for people in terms of supplemental insurance and Laddie's excited about the company so oh yeah, yeah kind of talk about your experience with them I had an experience in um, Sacramento California this guy was a millionaire and he was questioning about Aflac how it worked and I was trying to tell him how it worked and so was the agent but the thing about it was his answer was well I, I'm a millionaire I got plenty of money well if, if you're a millionaire and you're smart why would you use your money and not Aflac's money? I mean, if you're that, if you've got that much money, why would you use somebody else's money instead of spending your millions? 
It just I just don't get it. So, and you've probably had examples where uh, you've been hurt or maybe had an illness. Well, I just, I just did a show, to give you for instance, at a local roofing company that makes shingles. And the boy, that afternoon, an Aflac agent in, you know, asked him if he wanted to buy some Aflac, some, some medical. And he turned it down and said, no, I, don't, I never get hurt. Three hours later, he, broke, he got his arm caught in the machine and broke it in four places. That would have paid him ten thousand dollars. So when I came there three days ago to do their event, he bought Aflac then. Yeah, that gun in his face. Yeah, it happens sometimes. You know, you got you got to be careful about making those proclamations. Well, you know, the the thing about it is, the people here in the United States think they're insurance poor. Well, I mean by that, they say they got too much insurance, but they really don't have enough, and they don't understand what Aflac's about. But if you really look at the big picture, it's hard for an American company to sell to Japan. But every other every other house in Japan has Aflac, and their their government gives them their insurance, so there's something to it. Of course, the government's paying for their medical, but on the other hand, they're getting money from Aflac to help them through the hard times. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. That pays for like rent and food or whatever while right. they can't I mean, you, you can lose your money. house, you can lose your you know, you can lose your your car. And this is a way you can keep your your, your stuff going without losing it. Yeah. I mean, what are you gonna use ten dollars for a week? I mean, yeah, you go buy beer, but is that beer gonna no. If you get hurt, is that beer going to give you five thousand no. dollars? No. So, and the other thing is, if, if, if Laddie here had a kid that's three years old, Aflac pays the medical until he's twenty-six years old, yeah. and it's not—it don't cost him another dime. Much longer than any other insurance. Any other insurance. How do you? Sign up for it. Sign up. Yeah. You just gotta uh, get a hold of an Aflac agent, either by the yellow pages or call one eight hundred Aflac. And Terrell is Terrell is his uh, agent sponsor, so yeah, we'll just talk to Terrell and, and get that worked out. So. Yeah, get that worked out. I mean, it's a shame that people don't understand how Aflac works here. Yeah. They they, they love the duck, but they don't understand the commercial. Yeah. Well. Well, that's going to be part of Laddie's mission is to uh, get the word out about Aflac and uh, help people understand. So, yeah. That'd well, be good. You, Kevin. Yeah. Thank you. We really Thank you. Time here. Yeah, man. Take care. Yeah, you too. Thanks for the interview. Thanks, man. All right. You want to go try and figure out how to get one of them shirts? Yeah. All right.